So, did get my CT scan done, um, and last night I turned on my phone and already had a message back from my doctor. We're supposed to do a Zoom, um, Zoom, 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 man, a Zoom. We're supposed to do a Zoom uh, meeting, uh, FaceTime thing, um, and actually discuss the results. One thing I can say about uh, St. Charles is they're definitely taking care of, you know, being careful and testing, or testing, being careful and having PPE on and making sure the waiting rooms and areas where people go aren't crowded or basically have nobody in them, which is really awesome. They test you, put your chairs all separated, so they're doing a great job here. So, got the port access, drinking my fluid, getting ready for the CT scan. Got to come get my Terramac turmeric from the homeboy shopping pharmacy. Weird though to go to the cancer center and in the other part of the hospital and see elderly patients with no mask on. I don't know what they're thinking. But anyway, good job, St. Charles. So this is cool to be a really super safe with the levels of Nature's taking over. Look out. What's up, boys? So anyway, you have to come out here to get your uh, prescription and they bring it in from the hospital, which is super safe. You know, keeps people out of the hospital. Geese are taking back over uh, since there's less people. They're everywhere at the hospital today. I swear to God, they're covering the cancer center. What's up, psychos? It's like 30 minutes left till I get my thing done. Um, pretty amazed here at the hospital. People coming in, emergency rooms, the radiology. A lot of patients not with masks or gloves or any protection. All pregnant lady with nothing on. Pregnant lady with her baby, nothing on. People aren't taking it serious still, even in hospitals. Okay. All right, so... Uh, Got my CT scan results. Like I said earlier, they were good. Um, really amazed. I'm, I'm super blessed. Um, this treatment option is working amazingly well. Um, as you all know, she sent me a note, said the results look great. Um, the tumors on my liver and the markings, the black whatever's on them, is shrinking even more. So it's gone away more. Uh, a couple of them, my lungs have shrunk more. One, she said one of them, uh, it it grew 0 0.01 millimeter or centimeter, which I have to look at the measurements, but it minimal, minimal, minimal change. The rest of them either shrunk, stayed the same. There's no new masses, no new growth, no new sign of any kind of cancer. Nothing's growing back. Nothing's fighting back. Um, so, uh, like I said, we're doing the Zoom on the 6th, so if I can record that, I don't know if she'll let me record that or what the situ you know, what the, what the rules are with that. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll have to edit that out, or maybe I won't. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, I hated going to the hospital. I didn't want to do that. I really didn't. Um, they were pretty safe, though. It was a pretty safe... Now, here's the thing. And I don't care. I, this is a little bitching. I know it is. Patients at the hospital showing up, a pregnant woman showing up, no mask, no gloves. People going to the cancer center, no mask, no gloves. People going into the radiology center where I had to get my CT scan, no mask, no gloves. And they're, they have people stationed at the doors to not let you in if you don't have a mask and gloves. It's common sense. You're going to a hospital. Now, what really pisses me off, these doctors are giving away their masks. They're giving their masks to these people that are coming unprepared. And they already have a shortage. One of my nurses didn't have gloves. She didn't have gloves to wear. She checked, she was taking my temperature. I was like, well, you're not wearing gloves. She's like, I know, we, we don't have enough. And so, because the, the people who are working with the COVID patients, they need the gloves. Anyway, sorry. Wear your mask. It's, it's, uh, Jesus Christ, stop being a baby. <laughs> sorry. All right. So, as you can tell, I'm feeling okay. Uh, uh, anyway, good results. Uh, be safe. Be safe, please. Be safe for other people too. Don't don't be selfish. Don't be inconsiderate. It's a it's a weird time, but be strong. Um, some things I've noticed. I feel better than I have in a very long time. I'm still sick, you know. I can still st still tell. I can still tell I get tired uh, if I do a little too much exertion. Like we went for our longest walk today. I can I can feel it, you know. But it's good. I, I'm getting more and more all the time. So that's awesome. Um, other things. I notice I feel better in certain other aspects. Um, maybe my liver was so damaged, I guess, that uh, now that it's clearing up, other things are improving, because they are. I mean, I feel, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. Um, again, I know I'm still sick, and maybe it's the attitude, maybe it's the sunshine, maybe it's the dog, maybe it's the weed. 
something's working, man. And the improvement is still happening. So, you know, thanks for the support and love. And oh, by the way, I'm doing something kind of funny. I'm going to check it out. It's not safe for work if any of you are actually working. Um, <laughs> but it's a, it's called Newsbreak. WTF Newsbreak. It's on one of my other channels. But uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's just for laughs and, and just for fun, just creative shit. So anyway, beautiful day. I hope you're out enjoying it or home enjoying it in your backyard safely with a mask and not being a jerk. <laughs> Don't kill anybody. Love you.